Welcome back. My next guest is Laura Logano. She's one of those people you would call a pioneer. She had the foresight to project into the future and spend time and energy to become an expert in the field of CBD, cannabis, and health. Laura is a cannabis and CBD expert and a coach, a consultant from the Holistic Cannabis Academy, and author of The CBD Oil Miracle. Laura, it's great to have you on the show today. Oh, thank you so much for inviting me. Tell me about your journey. What was it that brought you into this rapidly growing world of cannabis and hemp-derived healing? Sure. Well, it was actually my daughter. Uh, my daughter has a developmental delay, and when she was a child, she had many, many different symptoms. And I was always on a journey to find uh, various modalities to really help her live in this world as it exists. And uh, nutrition is how I got rid of her seizures. And there were many, many different things I used. And then ultimately I got to hemp derived CBD because I knew that it was valuable for a lot of different things, especially for you know quelling inflammation. And for many children who have uh, developmental delay or on the autistic spectrum, you know, it's like their brain is on fire. So that's how I got to that, uh, the point of really learning a lot about, uh, about cannabis, whether it was with or without THC, which is the cannabinoid that is known, we associate with the intoxicating effects. Now I've heard you talk about and looking at your videos about how the endocannabinoid systems interconnect with all of the systems in the body. Um, so explain that to us. Yeah, that was a, uh, you know, one of those aha moments that you have in life. It was so major for me because uh, it became clear that the, en the endocannabinoid system, which is responsible for balance and homeostasis, basically overlays with every other system in the body. So if we just take two systems that I look at regularly, which would be the gastrointestinal system and the neurological system, we know that uh, there's the bi-directional communication between the gut and the brain. Uh, that's why we often refer to the gut as the second brain. But here, here's where it really gets fascinating. It's the endocannabinoid system that's really driving the bus, that is really uh, making that work properly. And what we're going to be seeing in the future is uh, a lot more talk about the endocannabinoid system and its relationship to the microbiome. You know, uh, there's really so much to learn in that area. And of course, we haven't learned much because I doubt that either of us uh, were ever taught about the endocannabinoid system, nor any of our, our colleagues. And uh, it's really the basis of, uh, along with food, it's the basis of cell biology. So it's, it's a, a pretty important thing to know about. Well, I find in this field there's a lot for everybody to learn. Um, I want to ask you, how do you use cannabis products in dealing with anxiety issues? Well, of course, we know that uh, a, a lot of people have what would be called um, generalized anxiety. And during COVID, of course, those people are happier uh, because they don't really have to go out. Uh, they don't have to deal with the social socialization. But for most people, it's actually the opposite because now we're in our little cocoons and there's more anxiety. So the way CBD works, it actually works allosterically, which means sort of not exactly directly on the uh, CB1 and CB2 receptors. It actually works with the enzymes that affect certain systems. And so it does work with our serotonin and our dopamine to help uh, quell anxiety. And it really is very successful for many people. But the caveat that I always like to say is, you know, if you're taking multiple medications, you really do need to check with your prescriber to yeah. find out if CBD is interacting with any of your medications. In general, what it does, it potentiates the actions of the medications, meaning that it makes them work more efficiently. So in general, those meds would be coming down. Okay, we only have a short time left, but tell me quickly your thoughts on the future of cannabis in the United States. Well, I think the first thing that has to happen is people need to get educated about cannabis. And that's why I created uh, with a partner, the Holistic Cannabis Academy, which is at holisticcanna.com. So I think that the future is really going, has to be uh, practitioners and consumers understanding more about uh, the endocannabinoid system and understanding more about how cannabis 
is appropriate for wellness, whether it's cannabis, as I said, with THC or, or without, because there's uh, value, value to both. So I think we are going to be seeing a lot more. And, it's all, and like everything else, it's consumer driven. It's from the ground up. So when somebody comes into a practice, a, a, a client and asks about CBD or asks about medical marijuana, the practitioners are going to have to know the answers. So they're going to have to be educated. Well, I want to thank you from all of us for your pioneering work. And thank you for joining us on the show today. It was my pleasure.